Where do I even start with Roblox TikTok? I mean, to be honest, I don't even want to start. I've made around eight videos on Roblox Cringe, and the reason why I'm making this video is to piece them all together to make one big message to the Roblox TikTok community. Y'all need to hit the sidewalk. I'm serious. Go outside, get some fresh air, because today I present my case. Roblox TikTok kids need to go outside. And listen, my job is to entertain y'all, and I'll be slipping sometimes, don't get me wrong, but I figured this video would serve as the magnum opus for this series. Basically, just getting all of the best clips together and making a big video about it. Want to give a big shout out to Point Break 337, and if you want a shout out, I got a link in the description for y'all. Uh, yeah. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn, because we got a long video. <laughs> all right, what's up everybody? How's it going today? Hope you're all doing well. I'm not doing too bad. Roblox kids. Okay, so I actually play a little bit of Roblox. I use it in a lot of my videos just because it's what you guys like. I don't really play it all that often, but I know you guys love it, so I use it. Plus, whenever I do use Roblox gameplay, the watch time goes up. Now, believe it or not, young middle school Poncho actually used to play Roblox as well. I used to be heavily addicted to the game. It was pretty much like uh, my crack at 13 years old. I just needed my fix of Roblox. And over time, I've noticed the game just progress just get like huge. There's a lot of people who play Roblox now, partially the reason why half of you guys are here because you saw my Roblox gameplay. But yeah, there's a lot of people who play Roblox now, which uh, has caused a lot of changes in the game. Most of them are pretty bad. And it's not even the changes in the game, it's the changes in the fan base, okay? This fan base is awful now. I'm not sorry that I said that. I I'm just gonna be honest. The fan base is just strange. That's the best way to put it, strange. And I'm not talking about the kids at the library playing Roblox on the computers there. This one isn't for you guys. I'm talking about the, uh, the e-daters, the weird roleplay people. I'm not saying that all roleplay is bad, but the weird ones, yeah. I have a compilation of things on Roblox that are happening nowadays that I'd like to, uh, show you guys. So today we're gonna be taking a look at that. You know, I just wanna tap into the Roblox fan base. I really wanna know what's going on nowadays, because I don't really play it at all anymore other than when I need to record. And yeah, make sure to go join my Discord discord.gg slash poncho don't join if you're gonna be weird or toxic thanks okay i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it oh my god i'm gonna get it i'm gonna i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna get it wait oh my god wait i'm gonna get it. i got it oh my god i got it oh my god i got it, oh god, I got it. i'm oh my god all right kid relax you just bought something on roblox okay listen i'm not trying to kill this kid's fun all right he's obviously vibing on roblox no problem with that right but man you don't have to scream about it your mom is probably upstairs shitting your pants because she thinks her son's getting kidnapped or something like that she's probably like what the fuck? why is my kid screaming so damn loud Yay. i love it i love it I, I got it. Oh, uh, I got it. I got it. OMG. OMG. Stop. I got it. I got it. See? I got it. I got it. I'm going to change my hair. I'm going to like add some. I'm going to make my avatar so cool, guys. Oh! <laughs> Dude, breathe, relax, calm yourself. It's just a game. You don't have to take it this far, bro. Your mom is probably walking down the steps as we speak. She's probably like, okay, it's time to bring out the gun and kill the kidnapper who's trying to take my son. She has no idea you're just buying something on Roblox. Happy birthday to me! Yeah, we really got like... 10 year olds listening to Young Thug right now. We live in a society. Holy fuck. Close your eyes, you sissy and nobody. Think you're tough. Hold on. Well, wait till you see my BM. Oh, wow, your Roblox boyfriend. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm kind of kind of scared. Like, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? These kids are like completely terminally online. And I get it. They're just kids, right? I feel like a lot of us had this type of phase. I didn't really have it quite to this level, but uh, like I understand, right? I'm just glad I grew out of it. And the thing that I'm worried about with this day and age is that some of them aren't going to grow out of this phase. Because when I was a kid, they didn't have TikTok, all right? They make kids like kind of like stay in this realm. And I know you might be like, oh, Poncho, you're just thinking too deep about it. I'm just saying, dog, like there's Roblox. Roblox TikTok, you know? Roblox friends that I lost. Oh, what, did they die or something? Huh. Said I was an- Oh, dude! <laughs> Why did I go into this expecting that they were gonna be talking about, like, friends who had died or something like that? They just unfriended this person because they were apparently annoying and this person couldn't handle it, so they then decided to make a TikTok for attention saying that, oh, guys, these are the friends I have lost on this app. I'm going through something very hard right now. Unfriended me without any reason. I lost my account. I lost my account. Probably got hacked. What? <laughs> Scammed me? Body feels like yo, so please don't break my heart. Digging till you cousin for 
All right, listen up. Maybe you guys are a little bit too young for this, but uh, I know I definitely got like high schoolers in my audience. So uh, listen to this. Maybe ask somebody out and then go on a date with them. Who would have thought, right? And I'm not talking about Roblox. I'm talking about real life. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, what was that? <laughs> this kid sounds like a demon. I don't understand. Like, why do kids freak the f*** out when they buy something on Roblox? I Like, that's something I don't understand, okay? I played Roblox as a kid, and I never really did that, and I was obsessed with the game, so... Is this just, like, a new level of being obsessed with Roblox or something like that? I don't know. I mean, I don't even freak out nearly as much as that whenever I buy something in real life that's, like, super cool. I don't even think I freaked out that much when I bought my car. <laughs> Top four outfits that help me pick up girls. Gang leader. Rich bodybuilder, gentleman, super emo. Yeah, now these are definitely the kids who are going to go throughout middle school and high school without getting a single girlfriend or boyfriend. Can I add me, Bisty? I thought, no, you're not me, Bisty. Oh, um, can I have her box too? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Since we have been friends for a while, should we show our faces? OMG, yes. Sure. Um, okay. I will go first. Wow. In mind, Wooly is kinda cute. Nice. Okay, I will go next. Awesome. Okay, I think this started during like quarantine or something like that. Everybody started losing their minds and stuff like that. I get it. Like this rise in e-girls, dog. Like everybody finds them super cute. Like e-girls, you know, the style is okay. I don't know. I don't really think it's that good. It seems like every single e-girl on the internet that I see has like 20,000 layers of makeup on. I, I can't help but notice it. Oh, but Poncho, are you seriously slamming girls for wearing makeup in 2021? Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't care if you wear makeup, but I'm definitely going to notice it. If you got that much on, dog, like how to stop a bully? <laughs> hey, huh? <clears throat> stop! Wow, inspiring! You saved my life. Don't even mention it. How can I ever repay? Damn, bro, got the whole squad laughing. Yeah, keep in mind, these are like the top TikToks for Roblox at the moment. Like, I'm not bullshitting you at all. You know, I thought the Minecraft community was toxic and weird and cringe. It's honestly a battle for Roblox and Minecraft by this point. You know, who's got the worst fan base? Understand where I'm coming from as I show you more of these. I want to gouge my eyes out. All right, so up next, we have a voice reveal. Wow, you're revealing your voice. All right, let's hear it. What's good, baby girl? Did this guy think he was uh, doing something? <laughs> What's good, good, baby girl? Boy, if you don't fucking talk normally, stop. Just stop. Fuck me like you hate me, but you love me. Look, you want to date me when you Fuck me, love. touch me with the lights off. All right, now you guys understand why I don't like corpse either. Oh, the poncho, you don't like corpse? I'm unsubscribed. I don't know. I don't hate the guy or anything. I just think his fan base just completely ruined it for me, okay? The rest of the internet laughs at corpse, okay? I, I don't think any of you guys are aware of that. Also, people like Dream, everybody's laughing at them. Why, you ask? Because of their melodramatic Twitter posts, dog. Just so hard to watch. Rock, shadow mist, 17, cute, shy, funny, is the descendant of the wolf clan. Has a crush on Jake. Walks down the hallway in my beautiful flowing dress made entirely out of silk harvested from the moon. Now, this is a perfect example of somebody who hasn't grown out of the Roblox face, dog. As I was saying earlier. I'm also the prettiest girl in the entire school, so Jake looks at me with love in his eyes. <laughs> oh, hi, Jake. I did see you there. Do you like my dress? I was supposed to wear it to the ball tonight, but I don't have a date. Stares at Jake so he gets the hint. All right. Well, I think I'm done watching this, and I think you are too. All I really got for today, folks, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. I'm not really here to force you, though. Also, make sure to go join my Discord again, discord.gg slash poncho. Again, don't f***ing join if you're a weirdo. I'll be joining the chat, and I'll be seeing people talking to me like, Poncho, are you, are you a psychopath? Hey, Poncho, are you a lesbian? Like, what? Ask me normal questions.
All right, so it's just a bunch of screenshots of a bunch of different Roblox characters saying they're getting drunk and nasty. That's a Pierre Bourne song, if any of you guys don't know, um, and now it's completely ruined. I swear to God, TikTok, it just never fails to ruin songs for me. Because I'll be enjoying this one song, and then what do you know? It gets used in this cringy-ass TikTok, and now I can't look at it the same anymore. I always try to see past it, but it, it just never works. Regardless, none of y'all are getting drunk and nasty. You guys are probably like 12. Go back to math class. We have a math test tomorrow. Let's get to studying. All right, so let's carefully observe this mental illness here. Oh, you think your life is hard? Since Roblox is down, I haven't been able to play the hood or message my boyfriend for hours. I'm legit shaking right now. It was the only thing that helped me with my anxiety. Roblox, please fix this. Bro, I'm so close to having a panic attack right now. I hate my life. Shut the fuck up. All right, listen, if you're about to have an entire panic attack because Roblox is down for a day or two, my best advice for you would be to actually start living for once because you aren't actually living. You're just wasting your entire life on a blog game and putting your entire emotional weight on a fucking website. Why am I not surprised that this person has a Roblox boyfriend? All right, listen, am I the only person who has never e-dated? Because I saw a lot of comments on my previous videos about this, and a lot of people are saying, oh, Pancho, what do you mean, bro? It's completely normal. Dog, I'm not doubting that it's, like, normalized by this point, and there's a ton of people who date on the internet. I'm just here to say that it's Bro, it's embarrassing. I don't know. If you're a normal, fully functioning human who is resorting to e-dating, I just don't know what to tell you, bro. I mean, you just lack social skills. Plain and simple. You can't you can't approach a girl that you actually like. Or a dude, you know, vice versa. <laughs> All right, here we have another example of what we're gonna call a Roblox dweller, somebody who spends their entire life on Roblox. All right, listen, you know, I play Roblox a lot. I'm willing to admit it, but I don't spend my entire life on this game. It's something I play like 30 minutes a day to an hour. Sometimes I won't even play it for a day. That's a, I feel like that's a healthy amount, okay? I play it almost every day for around an hour. Usually whenever I get bored after like cooking or working out, I'll go to Roblox, right? But this person right here, I don't know, bro. They probably play Roblox like five hours a day. Going face to face to the Roblox project. Wish me luck. All right, two things I absolutely hated about that video the text to speech and the screaming, and the fact that I didn't even know what the fuck is going on. Dog. It's not dead. I, do you see me right now? Play, I'm playing it. You, it's not dead. Did little kids like have a mental breakdown all over the country just because this app went down? Like I'm starting to think that because of how many TikToks are showing up of people just getting straight up upset. Yeah, the game's down. It sucks, but Jesus, you don't have to be dramatic. There's a new Chipotle Roblox event. You can redeem real life Chipotle. So Roblox is down because your fat mother. Jesus. Oh my god, why? Why would you make it that loud? It's like these kids think loud is funny. God, I'm mad now. Wow, depressing. Maybe you should listen to the song, Life Goes On. Go outside. All right, another one. Let's read it. Roblox has been out for almost 30 hours. My mental state only grows worse. I've cried over 14 times already. I haven't left this room. I haven't ate or drank in hours. I skipped a party I was invited to to make sure Roblox was okay. Wow, you're a fucking loser. Uh, I can't take this any longer. Demons are starting to take control of me. I think you guys are starting to understand me now a little bit more when I say these kids need to go outside and actually live. All right, listen, you know, I've had my no life periods where I would just no life something, but not to this extent. I didn't need to see that at all. Don't know why that was on my screen. Let's move on. Guys, Roblox is finally back. I won't lie. At one point, I was close to ending it all. Go outside. When it let me log in, I had an orgasm. What Roblox the? Roblox never leave us again. What the? When it let you log in, you had a what? Fucking kids nowadays, bro. Jesus Christ. Guys, look at my shirt. Nicholas has been trying to rip it off. He's ripped it to shreds. Should I let him see these succulent melons? 
mental illness. I don't know, maybe these kids like want to grow up too fast and they're just using jokes that they think adults will find funny, but they're just not, they're weird. Especially from the fact that it's coming from a kid. I don't know how to feel about this one, bro. I just don't really want to watch these anymore. This is like that one kid in high school that just does not shut up about memes on the internet. Hey guys, Fortnite dance. Hey guys, Fortnite dance. You guys get what I'm saying though? Like, what was the point of this video? I don't see how it was funny. I don't see how it was cringe. I have an idea. What's your idea? You should be. I'm not gonna be mercy. You should be mercy. I'm a tiny <coughs> 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 uh. This is the face from Squid Games. Do you recognize it? With the full outfit, it becomes easier to spot the meme. And then we zoom a bit closer. If you haven't figured it out yet, I can't help you. Well, guess I'm a retard. I don't know anything about inside jokes. Uh, no. No. Stop. This is what will happen if Roblox gets deleted or hacked. Share this to someone to inform them. If Roblox gets deleted forever, millions of people who play Roblox will start crying. Oh, we know. Trust me. We f***ing know. We have seen it from the, pretty much throughout this entire video. Roblox developers will become homeless. Minecraft stocks will increase because everyone will move to Minecraft. You see, playing Roblox is not always about the Robux. It's not always about Adopt Me. It's not always about role-playing in Brookhaven. Yeah, being completely honest with you guys, I don't know any of these games. You know, the, you see the game I'm playing right now, it's Arsenal. This is quite literally the only game I play because it seems like the only fun game on Roblox. Oh, but Poncho, there's, there's all these other games. I, bro, I don't role-play. I don't do any of the parkour. Like, I just like shooters, okay? I don't know, they just don't seem fun to me. And from what I've kind of gathered throughout these TikToks and just what I've seen in the community in general, all the weirder people are are usually in the role play ones. I'm, I'm not trying to discriminate y'all, but I'm just saying the weirder ones are there. But instead, it's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure this meme is about to die off. Like, I have seen way too many of these recently. It's not funny anymore. That's just my opinion on it. I'm not saying it's an awful meme, but it's just not funny, bro. All right, I censored two of those words because I don't want my video to get demonetized. Dog, like how do these kids even know what this type of stuff is like already? It's crazy to me, you know, how there's actual kids existing on this earth posting TikToks that have this type of stuff in it. And I'm not trying to be a Karen about it either. I'm not like, ah, oh, these kids know too much. But it's just like wild to me, bro. Like I was not saying this type of stuff at like 12 years old. <laughs> I told you, that is my real sneeze. Jake, stop, I'm so short. Ugh, don't poke me, I'm ticklish. You guys are the worst. Yeah, don't even know what I'm watching by this point. Jesus Christ, all right, so uh, not a good start to this video. Oh my God. I swear to God, some of these kids just like don't go outside. They've never seen a tree in their life. They've never seen grass. Y'all just spend your time getting a Roblox girlfriend or boyfriend and twerking on them, really? As that's what's going on right now? I don't, I don't understand. I swear to God, bro, sometimes I just hate the internet because of this reason, the people I see on it. Baby girl. Yep, I expected that. I can't say I didn't see this coming. Hey, but what's a Poncho Roblox kids cringe video without uh, that one insecure kid trying to make his voice deeper? I'm just saying, bro, you don't have to do all that. You are, you're being too extra. Just wait until your balls drop and then make that video or something. Actually, scratch that. Don't make that video at all. I, I take back what I said. 
Why do these skins exist in this kids game, dude? Is this- are these like actual skins that you can like purchase or something like that? If so, then why? Like, why would you want to try to impress somebody over Roblox with your Roblox character having a six-pack? Dude, you know these game developers were just sitting while they were making the skin like, hey, man, we're gonna get a bunch of delusional kids addicted to these skins so they can make TikToks about them. And in the process, it'll grow the game of Roblox where we're winning in the end. That's exactly what they were talking about at the board meeting before they released these skins. <laughs> I've never understood like that word slender I mean, when it comes to Roblox. I've gotten a lot of comments about it saying that they're like the bad part of TikTok. If you guys know what it is, feel free to like comment it down below so I can know what it is. Because I got no clue. I don't know. I don't know the meme behind this TikTok or if there even is a meme. I just, I just don't understand. So comment. Stop hating before I have your girl in one of my videos. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, well, all right, I'm gonna have to hide my girlfriend after watching this one. I don't think I will be able to compete with this person if I am hating on him. So, you know, I definitely don't want my girl in one of his videos. I, God, I should probably stop. All right, first of all, you're playing Roblox and you're talking about girls on the internet and how you're gonna get my girlfriend in your video. Um, I, good luck, I guess. And second of all, you're acting like you're actually doing something. What? Okay, having a random girl on Roblox in one of your videos doesn't, doesn't, that's not a flex, all right? That's just proving that your only validation comes from the internet. Also, that could be like a 50-year-old dude. That was hard to watch. Y'all remember those like Minecraft animations that used to be like on YouTube back in the day, like five to 10 years ago. They were always super cringe and we always used to actually enjoy them back as kids. I feel like that's the same case for Roblox kids today. They make like just cringy ass Roblox animations, but the youth actually likes them. Unless I'm wrong. Unless you guys that are watching right now actually don't like them. Why? What's the point of doing that, bro? Go outside. Take a walk. Go learn a sport. Go play basketball. <laughs> like, don't. Why are you doing this? I swear to God, these kids got too much time on their hands, bro. They need to focus on math homework instead of this. All right, listen, I used to watch some like pretty bad stuff when I was, uh, you know, a youngster. I was like 10 years old watching rated R movies on occasion. I, it probably wasn't the best for me. I'm just gonna say, bro, none of this stuff is like really what kids should be doing, bro. Being on TikTok, doing this type of stuff, it's strange, you know? I'm not saying like, oh, you can't do this, but I'm gonna I'm sit here and criticize it and, you know, speak my opinions on it. I'm pretty sure this side of Roblox TikTok is actually like what popularized like the whole men wearing skirts obsession thing or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it is. Actually, it's not even a skirt. It's like a made outfit. I mean, listen, these dudes can wear whatever they want, but just, uh, nah. It's like a dog trying to be a cat or something. I don't know. questions I have for this. One, like how much time are you wasting doing this type of stuff? Two, why are you, why are you rating like how they say that one dumbass phrase like it's gonna, like what's the point of this? And three, where are your parents? They've obviously not raised you well enough, so we're gonna need to get them Ah, <laughs> sus. Like get it? Cause like among us, you know that word, sus? It's really funny. Y'all need to quit using that word, bro. It's not funny anymore. That's just the truth. Am I supposed to be impressed or something? Wow, you changed your skin. Oh my God, that's crazy. All right, these aren't like too awful or anything, all right? These aren't like the worst out of the bunch. But I just don't, I don't understand the importance of posting the fact that you know how to change your skin. Okay, listen, I'm not trying to be like a content cop, right? I'm not trying to like nitpick at everything. I just don't understand it and I don't know why it's on my screen.
Now listen, I don't know what bacons are either. I don't, I don't even know what slenders are, but hey, this seems like it's kind of facts, all right? Eat-aters are weird. They are like 11, and it is a kid's game, so I don't know. I feel like this one was like a cell phone for the person who made this TikTok. How are these kids on Roblox without even knowing how to spell yet? Let that sink in. We got kids that don't even know how to spell that are playing Roblox. A game with a chat that has other, oh my God. Parents, you gotta do better, all right? You gotta you keep your kids away. Man, this is really popping up on my feet again. Boy, if you don't shut your ass up. This kid deserves to get bullied in school. going on with Roblox dog. I just play Arsenal. You can see my gameplay right here, right? This is like the only Roblox I kind of know, right? I guess there's other game modes where you can just like kiss people. Uh, all right. Just saying a kiss in real life is probably a little bit more valuable than one over the internet. I thought, I thought you liked me. What? Nothing. That was so deep, man. I think, oh, dang, bro. There's tears running down my face. I'm crying now. God, dude, I, I can't contain myself after that one, man. What's up, baby girl? Then we got Oscar the Grouch in the cut. Roblox TikTok. Let's go, baby. <laughs> All right, so we discussed these types of Roblox cringe videos in the last video about all this. Uh, yeah, so these are pretty much just insecure dudes trying to show what their voice sounds like, quote unquote. This this is definitely not what this kid sounds like. Hey, yo. Oh, what's good, mama? I hope I have at least some kids watching this who make these types of TikToks, just so I can let you know. Dog, stop trying to put on a fake voice. Nobody believes it. Not a single person. You aren't fooling anybody. Like, I get it. You wanna you wanna fit in with the deep-voiced individuals like me, right? You know, uh, this is the VIP lounge. You can't get in. I'm just playing. But, like, listen, okay? Nobody gives a shit about what your voice sounds like. If you're a squeaker, bro, then you're just young. You got some time to grow. You're gonna have a deeper voice. I don't even know why I have to explain this but I felt like I needed to. Dog, what did I just watch? What is what was on my screen just then? Is this like content? Is this, is this what y'all like to watch? Please tell me no. Like I, I All right, I'm over, I'm going to rewatch this. The lady has a kid. Kid comes out. He's posted up. He uh, looks at the door, the guy has roses. The kid can somehow walk now, does the sheesh thing. Like, is this even funny? I remember right when the whole like sheesh, sheesh thing like came out. That was like, I think a year ago? Almost positive it was a year ago, right? That little meme still gets used to this day. It's not funny anymore. It's always the like the middle schoolers that are still doing it a year later. That can't just let the memes die, bro. I don't know, I'm not like a meme policeman either or anything like that, right? I just, I can't laugh at it anymore. It's not funny anymore. Hey man, this little Pretty good, man. Where your clothes at? I'm sorry, I'm gonna just say this right now. If you're e-dating, go the f outside. Now listen, if you have an online girlfriend and you guys eventually meet, then that's when it becomes like an actual relationship, right? But most of the people e-dating on Roblox, they're like 12, right? They can't, they can't fly out to see their boyfriend or anything like that because they're 12. So it's like, I don't know, dog. I, are you limiting your experiences by if you're just doing that? Instead of dating around while you're in middle school? I remember everybody used to date around in middle school. That's just how it was. You, everybody would have a girlfriend and shit like that. I'm pretty sure I had a girlfriend in middle school. I don't remember if it was freshman year or if it was in middle school. 
school. Regardless, that's what some people do in middle school, okay? And I'm not like judging you if you don't have like somebody that you're dating. But if you're dating on Roblox and not just doing it in real life, that's just, it's just sad to me, bro. Oh, but Poncho, I have social anxiety. I can't, do bro. I know this sounds easier said than done, but just stop thinking. Like you don't have to be in your head all the time. I was exactly like that. I used to have social anxiety bad. I was, it was awful. It was almost crippling. Like I couldn't even just like talk to anybody that I just barely knew. But I just stopped thinking. I was like, all right, I'm not going to give a shit about what this person might have to say. All right. No, we're not watching that. Um, let's go. Let's go next. Hey, yo, look who fell asleep first. Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. Oh, yo! Man, it's almost crazy how like exposed like these little kids are to like sexual memes, you know? And I'm not trying to be caring about it, like, oh, these kids shouldn't be looking at this or that, you know? But like, I don't know, man. There's there's really like 10 year olds that play this game, right? And they're seeing this type of stuff. They're seeing that guy get clapped from the back. Should 10 year olds really be even looking at that? Like I used to watch rated R movies when I was like a little kid, but now looking back at it, I don't really think that was the best for me. Okay, I kind of regret knowing all of this at a young age. I don't know, just my opinion. Damn, we really got Roblox stripper edits. That's a new one. No, 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 bad. Wanna get drunk and nasty? Wanna get drunk and nasty? Wanna get drunk and nasty? Dog, none of you guys are getting drunk and nasty. You're like 12. Hey, no, no, no. Listen, if you're really about it, go to a club right now and see what the the bouncer says right when you walk in with your 12 year old ass. Get the fuck out of here. Wanna get drunk and nasty? I wanna get drunk and nasty. Cap. Huh? I am the greatest. I am the best. I am above all of the rest. My outfit is cool. My outfit is fine. I joined the game in 2009. This is like most YouTube rappers nowadays, dog. I am the best. I am the greatest. Wearing my drip, I have the latest. Stop. Just, just stop. God, he's still value. going. I got more rap. I got more rap because you were fat. Nice. Nice bar, bro. Day, even though I weigh 303. Oh, we don't doubt it. What? I don't even know what to say, bro. Oh, you can steal everybody's Roblox boyfriend with one glance? All right, that's really cool. Now let's take a look at your actual self, the person behind the computer. How much reward factor do you get by talking to people on the internet and role-playing a relationship on a block game? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Go outside. Whoever made these pants needs a raise. All right, one, why why are those pants even in game? Two, why the scream, bro? Like, you're trying to make me go deaf? Whoa, Greg! Greg! I don't cook, I don't clean. I don't cook, I don't clean. What the f but let I, me tell you, I got I, this ring. This is ADHD if it were a video. TikTok test. Hit or miss? No. Hit or miss? Hit or miss? Hit or miss? Isn't that joke like two years old? It, it, wasn't it never funny? Hit or miss? I guess they never miss. Bro, yeah, that. Come on, man. Why do kids have to ruin everything? <laughs> Uh, I really do gotta wonder what these Roblox addicts do in their free time. I, I I really have no idea. Probably play Roblox. Now listen, I'm not even dissing Roblox, right? Roblox is a cool game. You see me playing it right now, all right? It's a, it's a fun game. Only game I play, though, is Arsenal. You know, I'm not really into Roblox as a whole. I just like Arsenal. But if you're spending, like, ungodly amount of hours on a game, that's when you're. it's like, all right, well, do you even have a life by that point? I don't know. I'm not dissing, like, Roblox TikToks in general. Like, I, I don't really care. I'm talking about the ones that, obviously, Obviously, like you can just tell they play an ungodly amount of hours of Roblox, you know? You alright, buddy? I wanna fucking die. Wait, why? My girlfriend in Roblox doesn't wanna give me head. Oh, you're trying to get your freak on, ain't you? Alright, I don't even I can't even tell if this is satire or not, or if this guy actually role plays. So you know, we're just gonna breeze past that one. A dip in the pool. A trip to the spa. 
In these days in my shades, the whole world according to moi. All right, listen, this is just a kid kind of having fun. All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to diss that one too much at all. Okay, listen, first TikTok in. Th this guy ain't too bad of a singer, all right? This guy has some pipes. Like, I'm being dead ass. This ain't that bad. Hey, homie, if, if you want a record deal, hit up my manager. I'm just kidding. I don't know anybody in the industry. Why was this on the cringe compilation? This wasn't, like, that bad or anything like that. Whatever, let's just move on to the next one. All right, listen, okay. I don't know what it is with these like Roblox emotes or like dance moves or whatever, but they completely ripped off Fortnite. I'm sorry. Do I know anything about the situation of when Roblox added emotes or Fortnite adding emotes? I have no idea who copied who, but that's just what I'm saying, okay? They copied Fortnite. Also, why are they playing slowed down Cupcake? I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know who Cupcake is. She's like this rapper. I, we're not even gonna call her a rapper. This person who uses her mouth to make music that shouldn't even be considered music. But hey, okay, listen, listen, listen. I'm not, I'm not a music expert. And I'm not trying to diss her, okay? I just don't personally enjoy that type of music. I'll be honest. I probably shouldn't have dissed her that hard, but that's just how I feel, okay? All right, listen. There's some problems with this one, okay? Ah, dude, what is up with these e-daters, man? All right, listen. If you're dating somebody over the internet, okay, cool. That's great. Good for you. I'm glad you have a solid relationship. It's not even a solid relationship because you haven't met, but whatever. These are kids, right, that are, like, doing this. Maybe not young kids, but I'm talking about, like, teenagers, like, ages 14 to, like, 17 or some shit probably doing this. E-dating will get you nowhere, homie, okay? Unless you guys, like, meet up or something like that. That's different, right? Because by that point, you guys have actually met and you can see each other, you guys can see how you act. Everything that comes with studying somebody before you date them, right? Or not studying, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. You don't just blindly date somebody. ain't even cringe i just uh don't understand anything of what's going on here uh <laughs> dog i really gotta get into other servers on roblox or maybe maybe i don't <laughs> i don't want to be one of those roblox kids that listens to chicago drill and acts like they live by it when in reality all they're doing is just playing roblox <laughs> Stop, bro. I, I don't want this on my screen. What are you even doing? How would your parents feel if they saw this? Their son being a slender on TikTok and publicly posting cringe videos of themselves on TikTok. I mean, to be honest, if that was my kid, I would uh, probably re-raise him. And listen, listen, listen. I know these kids are just like having fun and whatever, but imagine if they're still doing this shit as adults, right? Imagine if there's, they continue on with this. And obviously, you know, cringe TikToks aren't a crime, okay? I, we're not saying that here. But I don't want to see them on my TikTok feed. Okay, plain and simple. Wow, bro. Holy shit. Um, am I supposed to be impressed? What do I even say to this? Do I do I just have to torture myself by watching these? Are these always going to be floating up on uh, TikTok for you pages just until the end of time? Is that really what's going on here? Well, uh, boys, I think the uh, Roblox cringe army is a little bit too powerful. And I know the word cringe itself is uh, pretty cringe, but I don't know. It's really the best way to describe these videos that we're watching here. I, I can't think of a better word. Somehow we get down. <laughs> Uh, none. None of them. Um, go outside, learn a sport, socialize for once in your life because Lord knows you haven't done that. I feel like that's a problem with most of these kids that we're taking a look at here. Most of them don't have social lives and, you know, there can be a whole bunch of different excuses for that. You got social anxiety. I talked about that in the last video. I'm not going to rehash that same exact point that I tried to make. But if you're one of the people making these TikToks and you're watching this video, ask yourself, do you have friends? If the answer is yes, then why would you even waste your energy trying to pick up girls on Roblox. A block game.
I'm sure after that video, you're starting to understand my concern here. This is getting out of hand, okay? This shouldn't be on the internet. These are kids. These are most definitely little kids that are posting this shit. Where's your homework? D go do your fucking homework. Ain't you got an English test tomorrow or something like that? Go, go study for that. they're saying awful cameraman well i mean if your brother is an e-dater on roblox then i fully encourage him to quit playing roblox because uh it's almost like you're checking yourself into drug rehab okay you're you're focusing in on a better life for yourself instead of dating on roblox baby girl daddy's home If you're going around on Roblox telling this stuff to people, bro, go outside. Uninstall the game, actually. That's probably the best option here. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing with your life? What is your life meaning by this point if you're going and doing this on Roblox? Okay, listen, I think I'm being a little bit too harsh. These are like teenagers that we're talking about here. But hey, I got the answers, and that is to uninstall the game, all right? All right. I told myself I wouldn't ever look at these again because, you know, I don't really even play this game at much at all anymore. And some of you guys are going to be like, oh, well, you're playing it right now. I'm playing it right now because of y'all, okay? I know y'all love Arsenal, so I'm, I'm deciding to play it for y'all. But, you know, I, I thought I would go forever without seeing a Roblox TikTok pop up on my YouTube recommended page. But, you know, the day has come. It's popped up on my feed. And yeah, we're going to be we're going to be taking a look at this today. We got more kids that play Roblox that are deciding to post on TikTok and embarrass themselves and you know me we're here to take a look at these tiktoks and you know explain what's wrong with them what's wrong with our youth there's a lot wrong with our youth in 2022 and you know i, I kind of sound like a fucking dad by this point so we're just gonna <laughs> i'm not even gonna talk more we're just gonna take a look at these so let's take a look i've said that like three times now <laughs> trying to beat your ass without the B. How much y'all want to bet that a 12 year old made this post? I don't know if this like 12 year old is trying to like impress his crush over Roblox or something like that. I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what thought process this person had before posting this video. Um, maybe they were trying to uh, maybe show how hardcore they are. <laughs> bro, no 12 year old should be posting this shit, bro. <laughs> Okay, moving fast isn't a flex, by the way. Honestly, I'm gonna have to endorse this message. Bro, are people getting like dating advice on Roblox TikTok now? Is that what's going on now? Dude, hey, if I ever have some problems with my girl, I'm gonna hit up uh, Roblox TikTok. I think there's a lot of good dating advice on there. I feel like there's a lot of useful information. You know, if we're ever, you know, arguing or something like that, I can look up on Roblox TikTok. I'll be like, hey, yo, how do I how do I handle this argument with my girl? Dude, what the fuck? Why, why is there dating advice on here? I mean, at the same time, though i don't think i've ever seen anybody use uh, like them moving on as a flex i think people just move on and the person that's left behind thinks that the person is flexing when they're just moving on actually now that i think about it i take that back my first ever girlfriend i ever had started dating a dude three days after we broke up and i, I relate to this roblox post Yeah, keeping it real, I don't know why I just sat through those entire uh, seven seconds. You know, TikTok is like kind of the home for just like a bunch of pointless content. It's like I'm watching just shit that I, I don't ever need to see in my life, but I'm just seeing it anyways. Like, why did I need to watch this dude eat the head off a, I think, marshmallow Roblox character? Bro, is it, shouldn't this dude be in fucking college or something? I'm getting mom, let me have one more hour on Roblox energy from this guy. This guy looks like his farts smell fucking nasty. <laughs> why did I? Why did did I even say that?
Bro, one thing I always see with these like Roblox TikToks is they always pitch up like the music like a whole fucking octave. Why? It doesn't sound better. Why are y'all doing that? Is it like copyright or something? There's no copyright on TikTok, so why? I ain't trying to have Alvin the Chipmunk in my ear 24-7, bro. Like, what? what's the point? Where, where's the benefit? Like... I just will never understand why people do this. Like, Nightcore exists. And by the way, if you listen to Nightcore, you got a disease or something, bro. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's not appealing. I don't like listening to it. Maybe some people do for some reason. Maybe some y'all kids have, like, so much energy that you just fuck with this type of stuff. I don't. <laughs> wow, bro. That's, that's badass shit. And they pitched the music down this time. Like, what's the point? It doesn't sound cooler. Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I truly just don't know. Y'all want this type of content from me. I'm here to deliver it, but I don't understand this type of shit. I'm sorry. I think they're just like trying to look cool or <laughs> something like that. Bro, you gotta have like a whole new level of insecurity if you're trying to look cool on a video game. Like this shit's not even in the real world, bro. You're trying to look cool on a computer screen. Think about that. Like, I mean, shit, bacon's pretty cool. Um, like if you like bacon, I, I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know if y'all caught that, but, um, uh, I got in big fat air. I mean, not really, but it's like that validation over a video game thing again I was talking about earlier. Like, I don't know if this is a girl, like some little girl trying to post on TikTok and be like, oh, I look sexy on this video game. Actually, child, you should be focusing on your math homework and not trying to shake your ass on a video game, a block game. You know, I understand my parents more and more every day. You know, I'm sounding like a fucking mom right now. But the point I'm trying to make is like, why are kids spending their time doing this type of stuff? Like, obviously I'm not here to judge or here to, I mean, I kind of am here to judge, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, 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 I don't think I understand it really. Cause when I was a kid, I was just out here watching like rated R movies. You know, obviously it's not stuff I should be doing, but at least it wasn't this, you know, this kid's brain is definitely still developing. And there's going to be a, a little sector in that kid's brain as they grow up that's gonna just have this in there. Think about that, like this is part of this kid's like growth. I don't, I don't know, I'm not trying to like go into fucking like crazy detail about how a brain works, but I don't know, bro. I would never like, <laughs> nah. Oh God, we're back to the Roblox strippers. <laughs> Boy, this pussy talk like Euros. Oh my, well, bro, what are y'all doing, kids? Don't watch this shit. I mean, I guess this isn't much different from like a grown woman role playing as GTA strippers on GTA, but I mean, these are kids, bro. Like, you see the title Roblox Kids. These, this is like the, you, these are real kids in our world, bro, that are doing this bullshit. Like, where are the parents? Where the fuck are the parents? Bro, let me catch my son <laughs> role playing as this type of shit shit on Roblox. I'd be like, you're never playing that damn game again. You know, one thing a lot of people say as they grow older is they regret with the age that they got into porn. And typically it's like 15 or 16, but we're like, that age just seems to be lowering and lowering and lowering because of like stuff like TikTok. Like, you know, all it takes for some naive boy is to see like some titties, even on Roblox. And then they're boom, they're looking up on Pornhub.com like big bobs or some shit. And for those who haven't watched it yet, I encourage you to never watch it. This is an unpopular opinion. You know, you'll have tons of people around you being like, oh, it's, it's, it's normal to do it. Yeah, it's normalized within a culture, bro. Not everybody needs to jerk off every day. Cause Listen, I promise you, it'll hurt you in the long run when you're, you know, so used to like seeing all this stuff on a screen. And then once you actually are like 17 or 18 and you're at, you're going to meet a girl, you get nervous and shit because you're so used to seeing it on a screen. I don't know. There's a lot of like brain effects that are public information. I'm, I, yeah, I don't even need to get into it more. Imagine being so insecure that you gotta choose a bodybuilder Roblox character and flex it. Sad to see. Wedgie core. LMAO, shut up. It's annoying as hell. You're just mad I'm hot as fuck. 
Nah, nah, nah. All the blockies and slender are sipping for my pixel ass. Just smack it already. LMAO. Nah, this is just like a little girl who's clearly lost. Just wants validation. So she's going to hop on Roblox, make a TikTok, and she's going to get all these other people who are insecure. All the dudes and slenders, I guess you could say, to be like, oh, you are hot. Like, bro, it is a fucking mess on Roblox. TikTok, dude. Oh my God. And I know damn well I'm going to have those little ass kids in my comment section be like, oh, Poncho, it's. It's not that deep, man. Like you're 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 thinking too hard about these. Nah, I'm telling you how it is. I'm telling you what this shit's actually doing to your brain. I'm telling you how it is. And y'all just mad that you can't accept it. You gotta get that validation from stuff in the real world, bro. I'm sorry. Like if you ever wanna like actually be be very satisfied with your life, bro. Go like to the gym or something. Go work out. Go get them muscles. Go to a hairstylist to get a get a hairstyle you actually want. You know, like these are real examples. You don't gotta go on Roblox for this shit, bro. This shit's a Addictive. And hey, listen, if you're just a normal Roblox player who's playing like Arsenal or like something else, just a normal game, bro, you're, I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all are fine. You're, you guys are actually playing the game how it was meant to be played, you know, and being a normal person while you're at it and not being a weirdo like this person. Anyways, that's all I really got for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to be doing these Roblox kid TikTok videos too often anymore. I just kind of do it to, uh, you know, give the people what they want. But yeah, regardless, I hope y'all have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.